I Lied to You, the show in which it pays to be economical with the truth. On David Mitchell's team tonight, the lead singer and founder of the Happy Mondays, who made a fortune in the 90s, mostly from the tooth fairy. It's Sean Ryder. <laughs> and a comedian who quit his job as a builder to do a comedy show and never went back. I've had builders like that. It's the star of Murder in Successville, Tom Davis. And on Lee Max team tonight, the funniest thing to come out of Germany since... <laughs> Anyone? No? <laughs> Henning Vane! <laughs> and a Radio 1 DJ who plays the very latest in house, garage and techno funk. I listen in whilst driving to my bowls club. It's Clara Ampho! <laughs> And so to round one, Home Truths, where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. Now, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before, so they've no idea what they'll be faced with. And it's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction. Henning is first up. For three weeks, I carted an empty box around without realising that what I bought wasn't actually in it. <laughs> David Steve. Right. Um, what, what, what was it? What did you imagine it was? What it was... It was a... <laughs> now, don't let me lie. It was... A... <laughs> uh, there was... In there was uh, a, a plastic Christmas tree. That... That's what you thought was in there? Absolutely. For three weeks. But that's something you open quite quickly after buying it, a Christmas tree. No, it's about a suspense, isn't it? Christmas is all about suspense and... I don't think it's all about suspense. Yeah. Because, in general, when you buy a box that you think contains an artificial Christmas tree, you just assume that it does. You don't go, oh, I wonder if it's really in there. <laughs> if, you, if you're seriously wondering if it's really in there, you'd check before you left the shop, wouldn't you? Yeah, maybe I'd chosen my words not very wisely. <laughs> Some of it got lost in translation. <laughs> Where did you buy it, by the way? Uh, at, at Argos. As you left the shop, did it not occur to you that it was quite light, this box? Yes, but what? And yeah, but now, now it gets interesting. Um, <laughs> No, because I, shortly before that, I'd started doing yoga to increase my... <laughs> uh, to improve my core strength. <laughs> so I didn't think any of it. I thought, in such good physical shape... <laughs> uh, I can lift that box without it straining me. <laughs> the queues at Argos are huge. Yeah. How long was you in the queue for? For ages. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a few weeks later that Absolutely. you opened it, ready for Christmas. Nothing was in there. What happened next? Well, I kept the box, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so you went on to have this Christmas without a Christmas tree in your flat? I actually, believe it or not, I did use the box instead of the Christmas tree. As a tree? Because, yeah, because there was pictures of a Christmas tree <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> the saddest Christmas ever. I have one further question. Yes. Why were you carrying this box around with you for three weeks? When I say I, I, I didn't take it to social occasions, I didn't say to the <laughs> Do we want to go down the where, park? Where, and then the, where the, did then you... the box at what, end of November? Far too cold. Well, so... <laughs> I did not ask you whether or not you socialised yeah, well, with the box. I went... I tell you what, I took the box into town with me on one occasion. <laughs> I went all the way into Leicester Square with the box. <laughs> Why, on the occasion that you were going into Leicester Square, did you take it with you? That is a very good question, David. Yeah. And I shall give you the answer. <laughs> because the box and I... <laughs> going to do a comedy show. <laughs> On how many journeys did you take this Christmas tree other than the one from Argos to your flat and the one from your flat to so the comedy show in Leicester Square? Can we just keep it a bit lighter? He's not up for a war crime. <laughs> 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 not, not, 
非常开心，很愉快。David, what do you think? What do you think, Sean? I'm sort of having it a little bit because <laughs> anything you buy from Argos, even if it's a big wardrobe, it doesn't weigh anything when you walk out with the box. <laughs> Are yeah. you an Argos man, Sean? I used to be. Really? Big time, yeah. What stopped you? Uh, fame. <laughs> Tom, I don't. Know, I think he's. I mean, it's a ridiculous of. story. But I mean, he's a canny, canny fella. So, should we go for true? Yeah. True. Yeah. We, we're going to say true. All right, Henny. Truth or lie? This story is true. <laughs> it's true. Henny did cart an empty box around for three weeks. Sean Ryder, you're next. I have trained my cat to wink. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cat do you have, Sean? Uh, it's just a black cat. And how old is this cat? Uh, I've had him about five years. And was he a good student? I thought he was. Has anybody else ever said the cat's winking? <laughs> when you say it, Henning, we're in dangerous territory. <laughs> It might be better if Lee represents yes, the team. Yes, I will say it. So tell me how you teach a cat to wink. Right, you look at the cat and its eyes get bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> and I try and do these mind games with it as though I could speak to it from your mind. Yeah. And it'd, it'd wink and, and stuff, so... So you would wink and it would sort of copy you? Yeah. Were you doing anything like gently prodding it in the eye? No, I wasn't prodding <laughs> it in the eye, no. no. Would you then reward him when he did your bidding? Well, I would. He'd sort of get up and go make a cup of tea. <laughs> what do you mean, he went and made a cup of tea? He'd sort of get up off the chair and he'd go in the kitchen and stand near the kettle. So that was my sort of thing to think that he so wanted to So he'd jump up on the countertop near the kettle? And I'd make him a drink. What would you make him? Well, tea. <laughs> Hot tea? <laughs> Are you sure this was a cat, I'm not like a... No, was a cat. A friend or a wife? <laughs> no. So how long did this cat wink for? Was it a year, a whole year winking? No, he, he carried on winking till he got run over. And what? <laughs> and what, he what he what, tell me he wasn't practising in the streets. <laughs> what if I close my right eye now? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I could do both eyes at the same time. <laughs> what do you think, Lee? Is this, is this true? Um, I think it... it sounds entirely plausible, start to finish. <laughs> I want these two gentlemen removed from the studio. <laughs> I truly believe that you did see your cat winking to you, or at least you thought you saw it. But to be fair, he didn't say, I once think I saw my cat winking. He said, I taught my cat to wink. I can't get my cat to poo outside. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't get your cat to poo outside, you should have a look at the flap. <laughs> I've just been doing the Sean method. I gave him a set of keys and said, come and go, do you <laughs> All right, we need an answer. What's it going to be? All right, Clara, so you're saying it's true? I reckon he's telling the truth. OK. Henning? Yeah, definitely. Right. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm very much doubting it, but I've got to go with my team if it's yeah. a If I were you now, I'd be very worried at the standard of my team. <laughs> well, Sean, uh, truth or lie? Absolute garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a lie. Sean hasn't trained his cat to wink. Uh, Clara, you're next. OK. <clears throat> I was grabbed by security after sticking my finger in Pharrell's belly button. <laughs> now, David Pharrell is a popular singer. You might know him from his songs Happy or Get Lucky, which he did with the Daft Punks. <laughs> Daft Punk, Daft Punk. Pardon? Not Daft plural, Daft That's Punk. what I said. <laughs> Can you sing it? I've got no idea what it is. I'm up all night with the sun. She's up all night to have fun. <laughs> We're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. <laughs> I need to get you in the live lounge. I don't know what that is, but no. fine. <laughs> The live lounge is the penultimate room in an old people's home. <laughs> <laughs> so, you put your finger in his belly button. Yeah. 
what, what happened? Um, I just happened to be in the same room as him one night. That always happens to me when I'm in the same room with someone. Yeah. Just walk up, <laughs> stick my finger in their belly button. Yeah. <laughs> Some cultures, it's just hello. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> what was the room? It was a party room. So were you, were you talking to him at the point you did this? Or, were, or did you just sort of charge across the room, what? index <laughs> finger at the red? <laughs> Do you know? I'm doing it! <laughs> it's in a way, well, it's dressed, dressed as a knight on the back of a yeah. horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you lifted him yeah. up. <laughs> he is quite, he's, quite, he's a little man, you know. Um, Can we see how it happened in that sort of... So sure. Just reenact. Lee, do you want to be so, Pharrell Williams for us? We're just in, we're just in imagine the you're a multi-platinum cool. selling artist. Yeah. Respected around the globe. There you go, so you're, you know... You're, you're yeah. hanging out. <laughs> I've seen him keep still. That's all I've ever seen him do. OK. How, what was Pharrell doing at the he time? He was just being Pharrell. Well, what was just he doing? Was he making a pot noodle? He was, no, he was, uh, <laughs> he was entertaining his guests. After, entertaining yeah, them? Yeah. So, an Irish fellow walks into the pub. <laughs> <laughs> He's not Tony Cooper. Oh, OK. And then <laughs> I'm dancing. I'm not dancing. Dancing and then... I don't like oh. the song. Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> All right, if you want to, you want to get back in your seat. So, so there we are. She, she's brought it vividly to life. <laughs> So, poke, ooh, yeah. then how long before the security arm hand goes on your arm? I'd say about, yeah, it's about 10, 10 15 seconds. 10, 15, now, in that 10, 15 seconds, what happened? My arm was kind of grabbed. No, that's at the end of it. The 10, 15 seconds before the arm grab, after the ooh, what happened? Don't forget the poke. It poke, poke, poke. poke. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And you <laughs> say, can we all, can we, can we all do it? Ready after three. OK. One, two, two three, poke. poke. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> David, look, you have to accept the fact she was up all night to have fun. It's as simple <laughs> as that. Now, what are you going to say? <laughs> I think it's true. You think it's true? I'm going to go lie. You're going to go lie, which means I have to make the decision. I'm going to go lie. So, Clara. Truth or lie? True! Oh. <laughs> our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of Lee's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Bill. <laughs> What is Bill to you? This is Bill. <laughs> I once bought an Irish accent mouth spray from him because I genuinely believed it would give me an Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> Clara, how do you know Bill? So this is Bill, and when my chair broke, he let me sit on his back so I can interview Nicki Minaj. <laughs> All right. Finally, Lee, what's your relationship with Bill? This is Bill. I had to leave my life drawing class <laughs> when, <laughs> when he walked in, disrobed, and I realised he was the man that sold me my sausages. <laughs> so, there we have it. Is Bill Clara's spare chair, Henning's spray seller, or Lee's model mate? David's team, where would you like to begin? Henning. Henning vein. So explain the thing about this spray. Bill has actually got a shop. And I walked past his shop and I saw Irish accent spray. <laughs> and I hadn't written a decent joke in a long time. I thought, well, let's get that spray. <laughs> so when you say you saw Irish accent spray, what, what do you mean? Like, um, well, it's like a helium balloon. <laughs> it's a balloon. No, no, it's a spray, but it changes your accent. Instead of making your voice more high-pitched, yeah. it makes it more Irish, Irish accented. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although, mixed with the accent you've already got, <laughs> God knows what that could do. <laughs> <laughs> and what shop sells this? What yeah. shop? Uh, like one of them uh, that you have got around Camden. Bill's got a shop in Camden? Yeah. And th his best product is a spray that makes you sound Irish. Well, yeah, well I didn't well, buy all these products, so I can't rank them. <laughs> in... 
But it's, it, what, let's get the genre of shop clear. It's a, a sort of joke shop, is it? Well, you call it as derogatively as you want. But, <laughs> by joke shop, I don't mean a, 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 a risible shop. <laughs> I mean a shop that sells joke items like whoopee cushions and... Yeah, whoop, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, fake blood fake and... Blood. Yeah, that Sounds sort of well. shop. And when did this happen? <laughs> uh, the, the best part of ten years ago, say. Was there a reason you needed to sound Irish? No, it was just I thought that's another string to my bow. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you? So what? Uh, <laughs> how did you? How did you imagine it being used in your stand-up? Maybe if I. Tell a joke where Irishmen go to the pub. <laughs> Do you know a joke where Irishmen go to the pub that you could tell in your current accent, but you could mime the point at which it you would have, have sprayed your... It to... would, like, go... There is an English fella going into the pub and <laughs> says, Oh, jolly good morning, my good fella. <laughs> wow. right. And then... Wow, and he didn't even have any spray for that. <laughs> And then, not do for it. English, not for him, and then, oh, and then uh, Irishman goes in the pub and then I spray. Yeah, OK. And then yeah. I go, top of the morning. <laughs> Who would you like to ask next? Clara? Who's Nicki Minaj? So, Nicki Minaj <laughs> is a rapper. There she is. My God, that's Sue Pollard. Oh, <laughs> Nicki, Nicki Minaj is, a, is a, a singer, basically. Nicki Minaj is a singer, a rapper, one of those right. modern types. In what context were you interviewing her? I was interviewing her at a big festival. So, like, yeah, at, at Glastonbury or something? No, it was at Radio 1, actually. Big weekend, yeah. And uh, was it just on radio, the interview? Or it was, was a it... red button situation as well. So there were, there were cameras as well? Yeah. All eyes were on us. Obviously, she's like, you know, the main attraction, the big star, so I gave her, I, I guess, the better chair. I suspect people knew my chair was a little bit dodgy but thought it would, you know, survive the interview. It got a bit creaky and then one of the legs snapped off and lovely Bill here was doing the sound and then we only had about five seconds to go before we were going to go live and then, yeah, Bill came in. One thing you could have done is conduct the interview standing up. <laughs> yeah! You know, you go with what the artist wants, and if she wants to sit down, I'm going to sit down. How long was the interview going to be? About... I think it ended up being about six minutes, five six or six minutes. minutes. It's, a lo it's a long time to stand, actually. I mean, I'm six guessing minutes. Bill's... Yeah. A... <laughs> Bill definitely looks like he fixes things, or leads, or yeah. wires, yes, he, cameras. He, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's sturdy. <laughs> it's a long time to... To be in, is... on all fours with yeah. someone sitting I mean, on you. I reckon I could take you for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Like try that out. Tom, right. sit on David. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to embarrass you. I'm going to put Tom on all fours and put you on yes. his back. Yeah. Let's give it a go. <laughs> we can all sit on it. It'd be like Look, a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> be gentle, now, David. Clara, talk us through the... Do I have to come down lower? That Are position? Right? Yeah, a little bit lower. Yeah, there you go. This is a lot harder now. I'm in a crouch. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what Bill did. You want to do come some on. more yoga, mate? Yeah. <laughs> So, where, where should I sit? Yeah, right in the middle there, right facing, there. facing me. Yeah. I'm sorry facing about me. this. Yeah. That's all right, David. I'm going to lower me. myself quite gently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I ask Sean to be a footstool? Very, <laughs> very gentle, very gentle. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm basically keeping most of the weight on my own knees. No, no, no. Oh, my God, my knees! Sit back a bit. Uh, oh, what are you doing? Bill! Nicely Bill didn't do that. Yeah. I definitely didn't oh, see anyone. David Mitchell, <laughs> Tom Davis. <laughs> As you can see, as you can see, that's easy to do. That is not easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Clara is not as heavy as David. She's not let herself go like that. I mean, <laughs> I will say one thing: yeah. that on a grassy terrain, yes, it would be, be a lot easier. easier. It would. That's, I'm slipping all over the place. I'm sorry, I let you down, yeah. David. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come to your house at Christmas if you're looking for another chair and I'll do a better job, as long as, you, <laughs> as, long as you've got carpet. Um, <laughs> David, would you like to yeah. move on to, yes. to Lee? Yeah. Lee. 
Yes, David. So why were you uh, going to a life drawing class? Because I just decided that uh, I wanted to learn something new because I've not been begetted, I've cracked everything else. Yeah. <laughs> why, yeah. why nudes, though? What was the attraction of the, the nude human form? You could have focused on fruit. I do do a little bit of fruit as it goes, but I wanted to, I wanted to expand. Um, so I, that's as why... I, still... <laughs> <laughs> I just felt naked men do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to expand my repertoire. I'd cracked the fruit. I felt that when I kept showing my wife and my wife would say, no idea, and then one day she went, is it an orange? I went, yeah, she went, it's time to move on. <laughs> and so you left your wife. So I left my wife. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these still life classes had you done before Bill popped in? I'd probably done about seven. All right. right. How's, how's Bill looking under there, body-wise? Bill, has he got a nice body, or...? Has he got a nice body, naked? Yeah. I'd say, I'd say he's firm, yeah. He's sturdy. <laughs> sturdy. I said to him, how come you're so firm? And he says, well, you try being a chair every three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and you knew it was uh, Nude Man Week. Oh, yes, they told us. They said next yeah. week we're doing Nude Man. Then you found out that your butcher was a nude model. Not straight away, no. Right. He comes in, he teases you a little bit. Right, yeah. He comes in with a robe, <laughs> takes his belt off slowly. <laughs> Hands it up like that. Then he turns the other way and he might do a little bit of a <laughs> bit of a stretch. Then he drops it so you see his, may I say, pert cheeks. <laughs> and at this point I'm thinking, right, I should be able to do this. Got my pencils out ready. And then he turns <laughs> slowly. And that's when I saw it. <laughs> the face of Bill, the man who sells me sausages. Right. So did he recognise you? Was it mutual? Well, he just had his eyes fixed forward like he is tonight. But as I passed, he had a look on his face like he was going to say, I'm doing discounts on burgers on Saturday. <laughs> 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 he didn't do it. He, he was, he's professional. He stopped himself like that. And, I was, and it was awkward. So I simply got dressed and went home. <laughs> <laughs> Did I not mention that bit? I say, I say life drawing, it was a car park and he was in a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> we need an answer. So, David's team. Is Bill Clara's spare chair, uh, Henning's spray seller, or Lee's model mate? <laughs> I think we need to ask, are you absolutely sure that one of them is true? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I think, on the ra in the radio situation, I think they probably could find a, yeah. a chair or standing... There's a better solution than for six minutes sitting on a human yeah, being. <laughs> what about Lee? Well, it's just that's not true. I, I, I'm, see, <laughs> see I'm, I'm, I've got to say that he's literally not moved. He's, he's not shown any emotion. Mm. Now, if I'm going to draw a man naked, I'm going to draw Bill. <laughs> what do you I think, Sean? I've just got to go for Bill being sat on... You, you think Clara? No, I'm changing my mind now, cos he's German, so he could possibly believe about a spray room. Right. <laughs> so, have you just noticed now that yeah. Henning is German? <laughs> just a second, yeah. So you, you think Henning now? N no, so, I'll, stick, I'll stick with Clara. Stick with Clara, and you're sticking with Lee. I'm gonna go with Lee, Lee yeah. You see, I think it's Henning. You think it's Henning? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Think, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go Henning, yeah. OK, Bill, would you please reveal your true identity? My name is Bill, and Henning bought an Irish <laughs> press <laughs> That's what you bought, Henning, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you genuinely we thought have it would have an effect open. on your accent? Off some description. <laughs> Lee, would you... Why don't, let me give it to you. It didn't work on Henning, but uh, might work on you. I don't think you gave me the right one. <laughs> to our final round, Quick Fire Lies, and we start with... <coughs> it's David. I once hired a jet ski... But... <laughs> Lie, forget <again. laughs> We need to hear no more, David. <laughs> I once hired a jet ski, but couldn't work out how to stop it, so had to buzz around the bay for 50 minutes until it ran out of petrol. <laughs> I take it back, I, yeah. you did. I can so imagine you doing that. Please, Absolutely. Team. So where was this? It was in Antigua. In Antigua? Was it's... this in your war single lads days? He never had those days. <laughs> yeah. right. It's your first time on the show, isn't it? It is. <laughs> no, Why it were you in Antigua? 
on holiday. Was the Winchester Steam Museum shut? <laughs> Why yes, yes I, I, I arrived at the Winchester Steam Museum and it was shut, and so I went straight to Antigua. <laughs> <laughs> when was and, this? Uh, I think about two years ago. And um, who were you with? My uh, wife. And what got into your head? I could imagine you renting a sun lounger and opening up uh, a weighty tome. I, I could imagine that. But I can't see you saying, now you relax here, I'm just going to go <laughs> <laughs> and bomb around the bay for a while. <laughs> Were you with your wife on the jet skis or did she stay on, the, on dry land? Uh, she stayed on dry land. So you were on your own going round. Yeah, you weren't yeah. with other people. And just it was you. your idea. I just, I look. I thought I'd have a bit of a go. What were you wearing, David? Uh, uh, sort of swimming shorts. What length were the shorts? Were they sort of Daniel Craig, <laughs> or uh... <laughs> they, they weren't as long as Daniel Craig. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wear? Like shorts. I said swimming shorts. They've got a pocket. Wow. They've got a pocket. <laughs> Got a and they've got netting on the inside <laughs> to keep everything in order. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You jump on, you're looking back at your wife. Ah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? Uh, well, to be honest, I'm not like, ah, look at me at all, because I must say, as soon as I get going, it becomes immediately apparent to me that I don't like it. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, here's a big question, then. Mm. You did it until the petrol ran out, did you say? Yeah. So, did you manage to time perfectly that the petrol had run out just as you got to back to the jetty? No. So you were stuck now in the middle of the sea? Yeah. I didn't... What I didn't do is head straight out away from the coast. <laughs> the point where my plan <laughs> formed, I thought, I'll just go up and down quite near the jetty, thinking I'll, I'll be able to swim to the jetty if the worst comes to the worst. So what I happened then? You just it. kept going, kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. Yeah. Talk us through. Well, I kept going, I kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. <laughs> All right. Lee, what are you going to say? What do we think? I... You have a great physique. <laughs> Thank you. You've got to warn me before you say things like this. <laughs> great physique for what? For maybe, I don't know, a game of billiards. <laughs> or Cluedo. Yeah. And I don't quite think that jet skiing is completely your thing. I agree. <laughs> I don't even think he has ever been to Antigua. <laughs> So you're saying lie, you're saying lie. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that's a lie. You're going to say it's a lie? I'll go with the team. David, truth or lie? It is a lie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that noise, a signal's time is up. It's the end of the show. I can reveal that David's team have won by three points to two. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>